Really going all out, eh? I beg your pardon? Well, that's nice. That's good. Doing the whole thing. The total deal. Sorry? The English thing. Doing the total deal. I don't blame you. You... you don't blame me for what? Going all out. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yes, of course. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I have no idea what you're talking about. The get-up! The phony accent! I'm saying more power to you, man. Oh, you mean phony accent? Sounds pretty good. My agent tells me, just be yourself. No need to give a performance. Just be yourself. Go in and be truthful. But let's face it, these people have no imagination. You gotta hand it to them on a silver platter. I don't blame you at all. You think my accent is phony? Well, you're no Peter O'Toole, but it sounds pretty good. Yes, well, would you believe I really am English? Yeah, right. I'm quite serious, I am English. Okay, bro, go for it. You don't believe me? Yeah, yeah, I believe you. I truly am English! Okay, okay. I know you're getting into character. I won't disturb you. But it sounds very convincing. Really? It's not meant to be convincing at all. That's nice. I like that. The way you say, at all. Like, that sounds real English. Work that one a few times. Work it in? Yeah. You could probably say, I say, old chap, that you was rather cute this morning. Just around by the seat of my trousers. Why on earth would I say that? Oh, and you should be leaving, you could say. I don't suppose you could direct me to the WC? I don't think that's necessary at all. Yep, that's good. You've got that at all down. <laughs> right on the money. There's no reason why it shouldn't be on the money. I've been saying it my entire life. You are English. <laughs> you are English. <laughs> Jolly good old chap. Cecily, take out the rubbish. Care for a game of cricket, old boy? <laughs> I don't play cricket. In the second place, I really am English. Now, I'm sorry, don't mean to be rude, but I'm just going to do a spot of reading before I go in to relax myself, and I suggest you do whatever it is you do for your own preparations. Okay, okay. Don't get your knickers in an uproar. You do your thing. I'll do mine. Thank you. You're next in the queue? Yes, very obvious. I am the next. I understand they've taken a short recess and will be returning promptly. A short recess? A short recess. Well, that really burns my bum. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I really... Don't so they realize we have a schedule to keep? Infernal buggers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, don't mean to be rude, but I prefer not to talk, if you don't mind. These people are our colleagues, and to speak of them in such a way is most unprofessional. I think I know what you're trying to do, You're but right. You're right. It's a close to business. Don't want to piss anybody off in the industry. One false move and you will never work in this town again. You're on the list. Ah, yes, right. Well, as you said before, it's time to put myself into my trance, so to speak. And to accomplish this little feat, I do require some silent meditation. It was very nice chatting with you, and I do wish you the best of luck. Hey, you don't have to hit me over the head with a hammer. What a relief. Do your thing, old boy. Thank you ever so much. Not at all. <laughs> Good God, name? 
Nomad, moniker, title, tag, nom de clou. <laughs> you say your name is Kelly McKenzie. Bing! Sorry, racist! Good answer! Good answer? Well, that is unique. Yeah, it's not my real name, but I'm pretending. Like my parents went to the hippie flower shop thing and named me Kelly after their own personal convictions and beliefs. Their love of nature, their oneness for the universe and all. Makes for a great chit chat, you know? Conversational piece. Yes, I would imagine. My real name is Polish, with no vowels. <laughs> and your name was? Ah, yes, Claire. Claire Darby at your service. <laughs> Get out! Really? That's like your real name? I have no reason to fear. That even sounds English. I might as well just go home right now. Yes, but if you must. Darby. Claire Darby. Madam Claire Darby. Martini. Shake it, not stir. Right, this is a long recess, isn't it? So, are you a knight? A knight? Are you asking if I've been knighted? Yeah, a knight. That'd be cool. No, I'm not a knight. I'm not royalty. I do not have a title. Being a knight is not actually such a widespread occurrence. There are many normal, everyday English chaps in the world, and I am one of them. Okay. That's not what I would have done. I would have used the knight bit. It's a real grabber, you know. They'd remember that. They'd write down something in the corner of your resume like knighthood or has been knighthood. Hey, remember? This is that knight guy. But, but I don't understand. You're going for the subtle approach. Don't want to hit them over the head. Claire Darby, English lady. Country squire. Yes. <clears throat> you know you gotta be naked in this thing. <laughs> naked? <laughs> yep. My agent told me. Total exposure. <coughs> Well, I should keep that in mind. Yep, she read me the breakdown. Needed. One English woman willing to be nude. In fact, you gotta go naked today. It's a very important element of the place. Well, straight from my age, I said nothing about it. Yeah, I used to have an agent like that. Wouldn't give me the straight dope. Then I'd walk down to an audition and they'd be like, Drop them, fella! Whoa! Whoa! never had an occasion to display my private parts at any cast. How very unique that you have. Okay. Well, I'm not saying at every audition, but every once in a while. And it can be pretty embarrassing if you don't know. Like, when your knickers have little teddy bears on them. <laughs> Look, Kylie <laughs> Kelly. Yes, I try my utmost to be polite, but it doesn't seem to be getting through. This you, you're distracting me from the task at hand, and I think it extremely oh, unfair. unfair. Just like how you conquered every third world country in the globe. That kind of unfair? <laughs> Personally, I've had only one occasion in my entire life to conquer or to be conquered, and that was a parochial school, and I failed miserably, so I don't think. Just think like you can come in here and raise our taxes? Tax our tea, huh? Tax? What? We will fight you over land. We will yes, yes, that's very clever. Look at my shorts, Derby. Derby! Oh, you English make me sick. Think you're so smart? I don't think that at all. At all. I'm Claire Derby, and I'm better than you are. Na 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 boop boop. You're being absurd. So pompous. So above it all. Look, that is quite a lot. Claire enough. Derby. Derby. It's Derby, you cracks of an ah. Oh. <laughs> Nasty sort of fellow. From the moment I arrived, trying to pass herself off as an English woman. Ha! But she didn't possess the refinement to pull that off. That's too bad. She had the right look. Kelly, Kelly McKenzie at your service. Very good. Thank you for waiting. Hope we haven't turned on a schedule. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. <laughs>